So what I'm going to do is uh, change out my upper ball joint on my 1999 Suburban. Uh, it's very loose. You can see that. Um, it's pretty rusty too. This is the original one. So what, what you have is uh, these three bolts actually are riveted in. And I guess initially you take your tire off, jack it up properly, safely. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. There is a um, nut right there, this one, and it's got a cotter pin in it. Generally, you got to heat that up with a torch, but I pulled the cotter pin straight out the other way versus backwards. When they're that old, you can kind of jerk them out, but you got to pull that out, and I got to show you, I got a tool to put in here and pop this up. But what I'm going to have to do is, uh, probably end up taking this whole upper A arm off and then on this A arm there's some keys here and this is what gives you your your camber or your cast or whatever when I have it off I'll show you it's like a um, there's a half moon slot in this bolt each one of these have it god damn it there's one in the front front here I don't think there's, well, there's one on each side, so there's two and two, and you got to put them back the exact same way, otherwise your your wheel will be tipped one way or another. Um, so if I can't grind these off, which I'm going to attempt to impound them out the bottom once I get this up, and then I'll put my replacement one in there, I'm going to have to take the upper A-arm off. So uh, if you got the few tools it isn't too bad so let's let's see what happens one other thing before you go ahead and pop your uh, um, ball joint out make sure this nuts freed up and your speed sensor is dangling because uh, when you do pop it everything's gonna drop down which I got it pop free um, and you have to let your jack, you know, this jack here down a little bit, but now I can go ahead and let it down some more, but now what I'm going to do is grind them three. I got this bolt out, grind these three off, or torch them. I haven't decided yet, but I might just grind on them, and that should slide out, and I can put the replacement in. All right, I got that uh, ball joint out, but not looking good I had to use a torch ground the tops off it still wouldn't go but I ended up getting the tops of the um, um, tops of them three off with um, grinding on it and then beating the heck out of it with a pry bar and there it is Oh, I'm going to probably have to heat them up. These three uh, bolts right here. And see what happens. If not, I'll be replacing that AR. Alright, that uh, them three bolts would not come out. They are like fused inside that A-arm. So, um, I guess next step was to have to um, pull out the A-arm. Which isn't real bad, but... This here is the bolt that goes in this side, and then there's a cam, which uh, goes there, and then of course the nut, I think I used a 7 8 bolt, but if you can see on this bolt, um, you got your flat stock, flat on one side, and what it is is them cams uh, sit on there, and when you turn the bolt itself, that's what pulls your A-arm in and out, which does the um, set your wheel proper angle. Now this is probably still cherry hot. Can't grab it, but um, that bad boy's coming out. Piss me right off. said 
Murphy shot. Them bolts were not coming out. Literally fused in. But one thing I do have is my son putting a lift kit on his recon. I have a another arm with the um, everything on it. And hopefully these guys are the same. And they look the same. Pretty much anyhow. She's warm. Look at that. Take a break and I'm all right, I got the upper A arm in, the used one that I got out of my boy's truck. Um, I'm going to do a quick rundown on what you need to do again um, for changing this uh, upper uh, ball joint out. So I'd take the tire off. Important thing is to loosen this uh, um, speed sensor get that right off there and as far as jacks you know jack the frame up then jack up underneath with the, a bottle jack or something to the lower control arm for support and you take off that uh, I'm hoping I can see in here that um, acorn nut pull that cotter pin take the acorn nut off and then use that like a tie rod separator pounded in or if you can't pry bars and stuff that this whole uh, uh, it's hard to film with one damn hand I should have grabbed a tripod um, look at that pop the A arm off and if you got it this bolted on the um, ball joint you're in luck because you can unbolt it and take it right off but where I had it was a uh, factory original and I had uh, rivets in it so didn't work so well them rivets were literally seized inside I couldn't even get it off heating up cherry red with a torch so I pulled the whole a-arm which is quite simple just take that that nut right there off this flashlight's pretty bright we take that nut off that nut off you pound them bolts out and remember them bolts are uh, like I said they're flat on one side and you have eccentric uh, cams on this side and that side and when you do take it off make sure them cams basically big washers that are when the bolt turns it pulls that a arm in and out make sure you know exactly where you had them or you will be getting a wheel alignment anyways then you pull the whole a arm right out put the other one in or if you're doing a arm but if you just got to do this it's a hell of a lot simpler but I got it done and um, it was free I said the a arm come off a 97 Chevy and the only reason why we took it off was because we put a lift kit on it was good shape so I'm good to go but well, another hundred thousand.